Hey everybody, I'm coming to you with an updated week review. Uh, in case you guys didn't take a look at my previous review on this particular wig, it is a uh, blonde wig with dark roots. I made it about three days ago. And when I made it the first time, I did not do a good job at all on the invisible part. And I don't know if you can see now, I went through and relayed all the tracks. I just basically ripped out all the other ones and replaced them. And I, I actually did it on a mannequin head. The first time I did it on my head, it was really late and I think I laid some of them crooked and you can see some of them and it was just just a bad job and I think I went through like I'd seen a couple of people do in the YouTube video and use like a conceal a brush to do the concealer. Well the second time around when I ripped the tracks off, I made sure I colored in the area that will be slightly um, exposed with like my new colored lip pencil that I felt like was a little bit more realistic to what my scalp looks like and if you notice my part is like very 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 tiny you can barely see it I feel like that looks a lot more realistic because I have high density hair on my natural head so when I part my hair it's not a big part anyway my hair is very thick even with my hair even when it's relaxed um, it's very thick so to me some of the parts that I've seen on YouTube where the girls do their invisible part it's very big it just doesn't look realistic even for a wig um, if you watch the other review you know that the colors that I used on this um, was a 1B27 and a 1B30 and I mixed it together number one because the 1B27 they only had one pack of that and so they had the one pack of that and the 1B30 and I thought well let me try to mix it together and originally I thought well I'll do the light on the top the dark on the bottom but I decided to kind of mix them in I think if I did this again, I would do all 1B27 because even though the 1B30 is a lot safer because it's darker, darker colors obviously look, you know, nicer on darker skin tones. For this, I really like the way the extra light hair look. And you can kind of see in my webcam like the different dimension dimensions of the color. Maybe you can't see it. The lighting in here is bad. But at any rate, um, I think it gave it um, a lot more character by having multiple blondes in there. And they actually looked really nice. Um, I got so many compliments today on this wig. Uh, I was surprised uh, just because, again, I really wasn't sure how I was going to feel about having blonde hair, dark skin, but it is the summertime, so I wanted some lighter hair, wanted to see how I was going to look. I saw quite a few um, gurus on YouTube that had tried out some light hair, and it just looked really good. You love Meg's. Um, her wigs look really, really good, blonde, and she's a chocolate girl, so I figured, even though I'm not quite as chocolate as she is, you know, I'm I'm close to it and I think I might be able to get away with it. I started off by, by purchasing a Janet wig. It's called Madonna and I'll do a wig review on that too, which I love that wig and it's very, very light. And I thought, hmm, I don't really want to go that light and dark roots seem to kind of give it a little bit more of a natural look. So I tried this out. It Overall, it took me about an hour and a half to two hours because I haven't made a wig in over a year so I kind of had to get the hang of it my closure looks a little bit bootleg up here just because yeah again it was kind of like starting all over and doing everything fresh but um, I suck at cutting so the cut job just did not turn out all that great um, this hair is really some crappy hair to be honest with you it's scarlet premium human hair blend I don't know if any of you have heard of that one. Don't buy it if you haven't. If you see it, run. Because basically it doesn't curl at all. So what I ended up having to do is use my big one and a half inch bumper, curling it just to put some heat on it because it didn't actually give it a curl. It just made it really hot. So then I rolled it up with some big body wave rollers and I sprayed it down with some Dove hairspray. And then I left it in overnight. When I took it down, it actually has some really nice body waves. I think that it's held it. I sprayed it again this morning because um, I wore it all day. Sprayed it again this morning so that it would kind of hold the shape. And it actually has, has held up pretty well with the shape. I think um, if I go back in and cut it, there is just like this piece is like extremely long. 
So I'll probably cut this down a little bit just to give it a little bit more of a softer flow. And I probably even leave this one long, this side long. Anyway, I really love the color. Definitely going to do the wig again with some better quality hair. I might even do it with some wavy hair. Um, I've seen a couple of people on here on YouTube do some angle bobs with, not curly, but like a wavy hair. And it looked really cute, really funky. I kind of got to get the, the hair cut down because I really feel like the cut makes or breaks. The way you cut it makes or breaks the way the bob looks. So I did a kind of a mediocre job. I, I really feel like this could look a lot better. Some layers can be cut in here just to kind of give it a little bit more shape. But hey, not bad for my first time, I think. Tell me what you guys think. Leave your comments below. Subscribe to my page. And I'll be coming back at you guys very soon with another wig review.